humanly possible and fail so at every one good. of them. There's one, and then the longest podcast. We can do this. Fuck yeah, we'll do 48 hours. The most uh, world records we can attempt on a podcast? Yeah. That would be uh, that would be probably one, too, that the people who set the record for uh, the most attempts to set a record on a podcast. <laughs> it's not bad, either. We should get in touch with Guinness. I don't know how you get, like, get in touch with them and get them to come out. I don't know like who the Canadian Guinness Committee is or whatever. Or is there just one like world they fly around the world, or does each country have its own Guinness people? How do you become a Guinness guy? I don't know. I'm definitely going to be looking Guinness into questions. this though. But I want to set a record on the podcast. I want to do it. I'll do it. We get we get like unlimited free twenty four hour a day fucking live podcasting through Spreaker. We should be taking advantage of it and setting some records here. Because I definitely, I'm not even kidding. I want to be in that book for whatever reason. I don't care why. I just want to be in it. Apparently, you can just do it all online. How do they confirm it? Well, like that's how you register, and then once you're officially going to, um, I don't know. I think once you're officially getting ready to actually do it, then they send a rep to officially send it. I don't know how. I don't know how that works. Where is this rep? Where does he get his credentials from? Is it like my life coaching credentials or do they have to do something? It's probably literally they just tell somebody you just got to stay in there and you just have to video to like record and whatever they're doing. You just got to make sure that it's all correct. And then it and gets if, probably reviewed. If anyone from the David Key school is listening, of course, I did everything properly to get my <laughs> certificate. Just kidding, obviously. Of course. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> Why are you even questioning me? The hell? <laughs> uh, um, so the second one, well, I'm going to say that one. So France has conducted 210 nuclear you, weapons tests. You got to figure out four or five days that you're free, that you can actually commit to this. Because I will, I'm dead serious now. Well, dude, technically we only need two days, 48 hours. Two full days, forty-eight hours would be enough. You just you just destroyed the record by twelve hours. It's only thirty-six hours, eh? That's it. Thirty-six hours. Way too short to me. Yeah. Well, we're gonna need four days. I'm just guaranteeing. (laughs) I don't know at this age if I can do forty-eight hours or if I can do four days, but yeah, two days no problem. You're doing it. (laughs) Well, actually, you don't have to. I didn't do it myself. You can barely do forty. You can barely do forty-five second, forty-five minutes. <laughs> Get bored. Start losing concentration. What am I doing here? <laughs> I think we. I. I do think that we could actually do that. Just be, between the two of us, we never have shit we can't talk about. Yeah, no, we can do it. The only should. reason we would get fucked up is if we pissed one of each one of us off, and <laughs> that's it. I'm done, and he quit. Well, then you just keep going by yourself. That's fine. And then, yeah, and then the other people keep the other person goes until that person comes back. We'll come back in a day or two. <laughs> I'm done for 24. You're on your own. Fuck. <laughs> I will start advertising it. We'll make it a thing. We'll get guests on and stuff. I'm in. Fuck it. Why not? Let's make some fun I with this. Don't want some other podcast to figure out how short it is and try to beat our record right away. I'm sure that happens with Guinness records. Like some guy beats it and another guy beats it like 10 minutes later. And you're fuck you. <laughs> you still get your certificate though. That's the important thing. Yeah, but you, it's not cool if you held the world record for 12 seconds. <laughs> you want to keep that shit for a while. No, that's true. That's why if we're going to do it, yeah, we got to like destroy it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Four days. Four days. Fuck. Four days of no... Well, I mean, you can sleep because you just have to go in rounds. Well, that that can work. We could do that. We could do a continuous show. I don't need sleep. And I'll guarantee you on this other podcast, I'm going to look into this one. I'll guarantee you the guy who holds that record, I bet you they're like playing music and shit too. I don't know. I'll bet you. We'll have to see. Yeah. But yeah, I totally. I'm serious now. Now I'm doing it with or without you. So there you go, guys. You have that to look forward to. I'll plan it for hopefully before Christmas. 
Hmm. Well, there you go. Sounds good to me. I'm in. Fuck it. That's some fun. That'll be my response to Black Friday this year. <laughs> be my Black Friday podcast it goes on for three days till Cyber Monday. <laughs> till Cyber Monday. <laughs> Maybe four days straight. Fuck it, hell. Starting at midnight. Why would we <laughs> start at midnight? Well, that's the official start of the next day. Yeah. So why not start at midnight? Why would I stay up till midnight to start my podcast? <laughs> <laughs> no one's going to listen at midnight. No <laughs> one's going to listen anyway. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm not doing this for listeners' sake. I'm doing this for us because I want to see if we can pull it off. I think it'd be awesome. Well, I know we can. Yeah. What was our? What's our longest one so far? What have we done? Three and a half? So I don't know. I have... Not a clue. I know I we did a super fucking long one one night. Yeah, we've had a few of them. I'm not sure what the longest one is to be honest. I don't really track it. I know it's got 15 commercials in it now. <laughs> at least <laughs> oh man um, okay so random weird thing and this one actually kind of confuses me um, you know that Iran carries out more gender change operations than any other country in the world that makes sense does it though from Iran does that make sense yeah I'm trying to get rid of women Well, and what if they're going the other way? It doesn't. I guarantee they're not. Oh, so you think it's just from women to men? They're changing little women babies to male babies. <laughs> well, and that's why. That's just weird. Uh, well, their official statistics um, has somewhere between 15,000 and 20,000 transsexuals inhabiting it. Uh, but they said uh, the unofficial t- statistics puts it at closer to about 150,000. That makes sense. Yeah. That would be my guess. That's my guess, and that's what I'm saying it is. Huh. Yeah, there you go. Um, And there's just a lot of Boy George fans in your (laughs) end. Yeah. I still remember when I found out when I was like, because you know, I was a kid when Boy George, Boy George first came out, and I was like, you know, just thought that was a dude with a weird costume, never realizing that you know, it was a gay crossdresser. Just never fucking occurred to me. I didn't. They all were in the eighties, like so is yeah. Bon Jovi. You never got it. Look at Poison. <laughs> I mean, like shit. Yeah. <laughs> I remember my dad seeing the uh, look with the cat drag him album cover. My dad's like. Well, two of them are pretty cute, but the other two are really fucking ugly. I'm like, yeah, Dad, yeah, they're all guys. <laughs> he said the same thing when the first time I was watching a, a Mr. Big video. My dad comes down and goes, man, that chick lead singer is ugly. I'm like, that's a guy. <laughs> yeah. He's like, your music confuses me. <laughs> My friend Dan, who always wanted to bang the chick in Hanson. <laughs> So good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one time I was with the um, three of the four members of, of our band uh, back in the day, and we were driving down the street, and we look over, and there was this fucking chick with these little cut off fucking jean shorts and the long dark hair, and had this little saunter walk. We're like, man, check out the ass on that chick. And then we get past, we realize it was our singer named Alex. <laughs> That's rough. <laughs> then we just were like, yeah, we, we got to kick him out of the band. <laughs> this ain't going to work. <laughs> Sorry, dude. You're out. What? <laughs> call me later. Yeah, right. <laughs> you're out of the band, but call me later. <laughs> Wear this dress. <laughs> We've got. Uh, so fucked. <laughs> um, there's this Australian dude by the name of James Harrison. Uh, well, you might not because he has a, a singularly unique blood plasma composition oh, that is being used to cure. I don't know how to pronounce this. 
No. Rhesus disease? R-H-E-S-U-S? Rhesus. Rhesus disease? It's a um, hemolytic disease that affects newborn babies. Weird. And he has donated his blood plasma over 1,000 times. Gross. So well done, James Harrison. You're, you're, you're a good man. A thousand people with filthy Aussie blood in them. <laughs> There's the downside, sure. <laughs> I'd rather have rhesus disease. What is it? Turns into a rhesus monkey? <laughs> the racist monkey? What? <laughs> the rhesus monkey? <laughs> <laughs> oh man um so there was this in 2011 chinese surgeons were able to remove a rusty four inch end of a broken blade from the skull of a guy who has had it stuck in his head for four years i love those guys <laughs> He was stabbed in the lower jaw by a thief four years previously, and the blade just snapped off, getting stuck in his head. I love those guys. There's all you always hear about those guys. They like they've got a headache for five years. They can't figure out why. It's because they shot a nail up their nose one time, and they keep <laughs> <laughs> Oh Those guys are the best. <laughs> it's just the weirdest thing. I always remember there was this one woman who had this surgery. And uh, and for like the first like week or two weeks or something like that, she was doing really good. And then all of a sudden she started getting like stomach aches and she was getting really sick and weak and her body was just rejecting her all over the place. So she goes back to the doctor and they do a scan. They're like, oh, fuck. And they realize they left the one of the towels inside her stomach. <laughs> oh, yeah, that happens all the time. It's fun. So Ow. fucking bad. A watch, a sandwich. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> sandwich <laughs> cup of chili <laughs> whatever fuck <laughs> like that fucking South Park episode Kenny Kenny the good news is is the transplant for your, your heart transplant was a success the bad news is is we replaced your heart with a baked potato you have still have five seconds to live what <laughs> well doctor you left something in her and uh, I don't think you deserve that world's greatest surgeon mug anymore. So we're going to be taking that away. <laughs> taking your mug away. <laughs> as soon as we get it out of her, we're taking it back. <laughs> so enjoy your coffee now because it's going to be gone as soon as we're done with this. <laughs> um, you know how there's just those the dumbest, like, you know, like, you know, there's a day for it's like, like, well, like, uh, was it uh, two weeks ago? There was a uh, knife appreciation day. And you have like, you know, all these different days for everything. This yeah, is yeah, one I've no stab wound appreciation day. That <laughs> right. the That's the next day. <laughs> um, well, there's a very strange one. Uh, it's on May 29th and it happens in Europe and the USA. I've never heard of this before, but it's put a pillow on your fridge day. <laughs> and it's supposed oh, yeah. to bring good luck and wealth to the household. How, how's that worked out for everybody so far? I'm pretty sure it never has. <laughs> if, it you, if, if, any, if it actually brought you good luck and wealth, you'd only have to do it one year. It wouldn't be an every year thing. Yeah. Because once, you, once you've got good luck and you're rich, then you don't you wouldn't do it anymore. That's now, right. So chances are it's probably not working for anybody. Chances are. I, I'm pretty sure that's a very safe fucking statement. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> um. Hey. On, on win a lottery day, I'd be pretty stoked. But the next year, I'd be like, yeah, I'll pass this one. I'm good. I'm good. I got my money. I still haven't spent it all, so I'm doing all right. <laughs> um, so you know that when people are struck by lightning, there's a mark that appears on the afflicted area afterwards that looks like a intricately detailed silhouette of a fern tree. And it's actually known as a lightning tree or, or lightning flower. Yeah, it's they- actually. That's, yeah. that's a bird mark, you idiot. That's right. It's um, This occurs due to the delicate capillaries rupturing beneath the skin from the shock of the electrical discharge. That's just fucking obvious. Um, I'm sure you, you get it. You, you probably get one if you get electrocuted good enough with some other way. Yeah, if you get hit with something big enough, yeah, I, I would have to assume so. Um, yeah. Um, um, yeah. Um, yeah.